is huge! Look is that the biggest time. one we've ever seen? Axel has a question for you. Can I use the excavator? Wanna drive it a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> he said yes. Give me your watermelon, sir. Wait. <laughs> He just ate it off the end of it. Dude, this sword is awesome, bro. You guys, Axel's cousin Jason made this awesome sword. He whittled it by hand from a giant tree. Ha! Ha! It's really good for sticking watermelon. Ah! Ah! Oh, can't get it. <laughs> That's how we eat watermelon around here, you guys, with a sword. Oh, God. All right, you guys, welcome to the show. Today we have the Traxxas Craniac here and the Summit. Before we have some fun with those cars, we are going to get to work. Because sometimes you gotta work before you play. I had seven brothers and sisters and I worked a lot. So you're gonna learn to work today, okay? We got a lot of work to do. Eat a watermelon! <laughs> All right, fuel up with some watermelon. Let's get to work, okay? All right, you guys, we're out here at our property and they're pouring concrete for our house. Check it out, you guys. <laughs> it's a really small cement mixer. All right, let's go see. So that right there, Axel, is gonna be a pier that our house is gonna they sit on. So we had a big root they had to cut right there, you guys. And so they couldn't do the hole the same way here. So they have to use a sonitude. That cardboard circle right there is a sonitude. On Monday, they're gonna bring our house out here. That right there. It's a bracket. They're gonna put these down inside of the cement right there. And then they're gonna put the wood that the house sits on right inside of here. <laughs> All right, Axel, so we got a big dump truck coming with a bunch of gravel, okay? And I wanna film it with the drone. Can you fly the drone for me? I don't know how. I'll show you. It's like playing a video game, like you're a helicopter. All right, you guys, we got the drone right here. Max is gonna fly so you guys can watch the dump truck dumping the gravel up from way up in the sky. The dump truck's almost here, so let's get this drone in the air. You ready, bro? This is the controller, you guys. My phone here has a screen so you can see where you are. There you go. Push up on that, that makes it go up. There you go. Nice, bro. And then left and right. Left and right. There you go. That turns around, yep. Man, you're figuring it out, bro. Axel's a smart dude. Oh, the dump truck's here. It's right there. Do you see the dump truck? Did you get it dumping it? Yep. <laughs> nice work, you're fine, bro. I'm off, but... That's okay, it's your first time, man. You guys, I make shows with Axel, and that's how we make our money. And Axel is just learning this drone to help me work. I'm so proud of him. Now we need to land the drone, Axel, okay? It's the drone challenge, you guys. We're gonna see if Axel can land this drone in the back of my truck. There you go. See if you can land it. Come closer. Oh, be careful. Go back, there you go. Now, hold on. Get it right in the center, bro. There you go, okay, push that landing button. There you go. Oh! <laughs> Dude, you did it, bro. Give me five. 
Nice. I, I couldn't even have done that. You're a pro. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I could have. Are they going to need more gravel than that? Yep. You're right. They are going to need more gravel. We got one truckload here, but we're going to need a lot more than that. The dump truck's going to be coming back and forth. So this is going to be our driveway that leads up to our house. We got this fabric here. That's to keep the grass and weeds from poking up out of there. No muscles. Okay, well you're gonna build some, all right? But you said we could ask him if I can help use the excavator. You wanna try to use the excavator? Yeah. All right, Axel wants to use the excavator. Maybe we can ask the guy who's operating it if he can use it a little bit. So, Axel has a question for you. Can I use the excavator? You wanna drive it a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> he said yes. Before if you do anything, you gotta put this down. This one, if you pull it back, it lifts every, the whole thing up. Forward? Yeah, let's look forward. That was awesome, Axel. Oh, <laughs> nice work, give me five. Thank you so much, we really appreciate it. All right, Axel, so Jason is your boss. He's gonna show you what to do. So you listen to him, okay? When you chop wood, you steer clear, get right back over this way and then you're safe. Okay. And you pretend like you're a samurai warrior. He is a samurai, whoa, oh my goodness, wow. Double chop. All right, Axel, you're gonna chop it with your sword? <laughs> Freezing in midair. Chop an axe, it was kidding. Jason's gonna show you how to use the axe, okay? All right, you ready? Okay. One, two, three. Almost. There you go, almost. Try again. One, two, three. Oh. Done. All right. <laughs> See, that axe is heavy, you guys. Cousin Jason can do it with one hand. Look at that. So, Jason. What does he need to do next? So now we put the wood in the back of the truck. All right, let's load up that wood. So me and Jason stacked our wood, and Axel, he's still got his pile going on over there. He's dragging his arms and his legs, but he's getting it done. You're gonna love work eventually. Gonna You're gonna be like, work. work, play. Hate, hate, work. <laughs> You're doing great, bro. You're doing great. Somebody's sleeping on the job. Let's go wake Axel up. He's sleeping on the job. Hey, no sleeping on the job. Wood. More wood. Oh. <laughs> That's not how work works. You don't get to lay on the wood pile and say, more wood. If you were magical, we could just say, well, the bing, and all the wood would be here. Work is hard, but it's rewarding, it's fun. If I was fun. magical, I could, I could just say, well, the bing, and I'll be right now. Come on, take my hand. Come on, let's go.
We are almost done. We just have these logs left to put on the wood pile. Jason has six logs, Axel. You can't even. Seven logs. You're not even getting one. I hate stacking logs. Sometimes work can be very difficult, but it is very rewarding, you guys. Axel says he hates it, but you'll learn one day. You'll love it. All right, you guys, so we're all done working. Now it's time to eat. Done. What are you cooking? Strawberry. No, it's all strawberry. Can you get it off? Oh, ow. Yeah, that's hot. You gonna eat it? Yeah. There's an underripe strawberry in it. It's a strawberry that's not ripe. <laughs> so, Axel, yeah. it's time to eat, right? All that working makes you yeah, hungry. Yeah, we're eating, though. What are we gonna eat? Strawberries. <laughs> what are you gonna eat after that? Snake. You wanna eat a snake? Yes. So I already ate, but Axel was like, I'm not gonna eat anything, I just wanna eat a snake. So we're gonna catch a snake for Axel's lunch. Okay, so the snake hunt is on, right? Yeah, we're both gonna go this way. We're both gonna go that way? Yeah. Okay. Because we're both gonna go the same way. <laughs> Should any of the people watching hunt snakes? Yes. If you're out in the wild, there is. You know what, you guys? I'm gonna advise that you do not hunt snakes because snakes are very dangerous. Unless you really know what you're doing, you do not like. hunt snakes. There's no venomous snakes where we are in Washington, but you guys should never, ever, ever go out and catch wild snakes. They can be because venomous, they can be kill you. So do not do what we are about to do. <laughs> oh, we missed it. You better quit talking and get to catch some snakes. Also, if you're sensitive to these things, you might want to stop watching right now because we're gonna catch and we're going to eat a snake. Maybe pause the video if you're a young kid and go ask your parents if you can continue watching this video. Oh, got one. I don't know. I don't know if I still have it. Oh, no, it's gone. I almost had one. Missed it. We gotta be quick. Oh, there's a snake right there. Got one. Got one. Caught a snake, you guys. A little small one. See that? It's one of those yellow stripes. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a western garter snake. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Alright, that is too small to eat. Let's let it go. Bye. Goodbye. You got it? Okay, you guys, we got one. Is this one good enough? Ah, uh, man, that one's long. No, it's not quite big enough. Let me see that one. It's like... That is beautiful. Well, let's keep it just in case. You carry it. We're gonna see if we can catch a bigger one, but this one will do for a little snack. <laughs> Alright you guys, so we couldn't find any more snakes, but the junk truck's back with some more gravel. Let's go on your side, Daddy. Yeah, hydraulic. Oh yeah, that's a hydraulic right there. Yeah. Going up. More like uh, thousands and thousands of pounds. Really? Yep. <laughs> Diego says it's 15 tons, you guys. 15 no. tons. That's 30,000 pounds of gravel that they just dumped out. 30,000 pounds. So you want to try to catch some more snakes? Yeah. All There's right. only one more plane. Let's go. We got one more spot to check for snakes. Let's go. Axel, be careful. There's a wild animal over here. It's a bobcat. <laughs> <laughs> Bobcat is really cool, you guys. It's got track wheels. It's a bobcat and a wolf. Yeah, bobcat from Wolf Industries. That's a company that's building our tiny home for us. Snakes, where are the snakes at? All right, you guys, so we found another snake. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Oh, man. Wow. Ooh. That is huge. Oh, my this goodness. Wow. Look is that the biggest eyes. one we've ever seen? And those are the weirdest eyes oh. we've ever seen. Look at that. Oh my gosh, yeah, look at those eyes. Oh, it's tickling oh. me. Wow, that is a monster of a snake. That's like a little more than half as big as you, bro. Dude. Half as big as me? Look at that. No. Oh, man. It's not half as big as me. All right, bring it down. Too You're going to eat big now. Water. Oh, man, that is a monster snake, bro. Dude, pooped on you? Ugh, stinks real bad. These snakes have musk glands, you guys, and they poop on you. It smells really bad, and that tells predators, oh, I'm gross, don't eat me. <laughs> All right, 
let's let it go. So we're gonna let the little snake we found go, you guys. Oh, I grabbed it right So it'll go and get bigger, and then we can eat it. Oh, there you go, bye. Bye. Slither away. <laughs> Slither eye over. I see him now. All right, you guys, so we are not gonna show Axel cleaning this snake and gutting it, because last time we did that, um, people didn't like it. But we'll be right back, and we'll show you guys whenever we're finished preparing it to cook. Man, this is a beautiful snake, you guys. So Axel's got the snake head here, you guys, and he is cooking it. You're gonna try to eat the head? Yeah. In a lot of countries, the head of things are a delicacy, like the head of a pig and stuff like that. So the head of a snake, <laughs> as long as it's not got venom in it. <laughs> So we have the snake here, you guys. All gutted and cleaned and ready to cook up. This is just like a fish, you guys. You know, if you go to the grocery store and you look in the window, the glass, and you see, oh, there's some fish in there. The fish you see that are dead in there, it's filleted and prepared. This is exactly what that is. Yeah, it's just the meat of a snake instead of a fish. But it's not cooked yet. So I'm gonna put it on a skewer for Axel here. Tastes like chicken. Tastes like chicken, yep. <laughs> Let's see, the tail's kind of on the crunchy side. You want some snake, Jason? Of course I do. Of course, Jason does. Jason loves snake. It's a little chewy. Chicken. It's like bony chicken. Yep. <laughs> Could I'd use go for salt, that. Baby. <laughs> I like it just the way it is. Let me give it a try now. Really bony. <laughs> mm. You gotta chew it up real good so you don't choke, right? It's good though. Yep, you guys, if we didn't have anything else to eat, that's what we eat is snake out here. There's a lot of these grass snakes. There's thousands and no thousands snake. of them. Yeah, garter snakes, yeah. You remember when we did that episode at Crater Lake with the crayfish? Same no. thing. Oh, and same she kind did of meat, you guys. Crayfish and snakes. Right? They're both white meat. Yep. What do you guys think? Would you eat a snake if Me. you had to? Comment down below. Let us know if you would eat a snake if you had to. Give Axel a thumbs up for skinning and gutting and cleaning and cooking his own snake. So Axel, mm -hmm. was that work kind of hard that we did? Mm -hmm. Stacking all that wood? Mm -hmm. I think we should start small and then get up, up, up. Start small? Well, that was pretty small. I am proud of you for sticking through it, and I had to kind of hassle you to get through to the end. Whenever you're working and you have a boss and you have somebody who you're doing work for, or you just are working for yourself, you've got to be able to push yourself past some difficult parts of the work, okay? Work isn't always fun, but it can be a lot of fun. And play isn't always fun, but play can be a lot of fun, right? Yeah, play is a lot more fun. So Axel knows how to play, you guys, but he's learning how to work. Yeah, you guys, I don't think we're going to have time to play with those Traxxas vehicles right there. We'll do that on another show. Thank you for joining us. We're so glad we got to share this awesome experience with you guys. What was your favorite part about today? Snake? Yeah, that snake was pretty cool. All right, well, you guys comment below what your favorite part about this adventure that we've had today was. We'd love to read your comments. Well, give us a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. You guys get out and use your imaginations to find creative ways to live your life and love everyone around you. No matter what you have, no matter where you are, you can have fun and enjoy your life just like you see us doing every day if you just use your imagination. We'll see you later. 